but first, let me go ahead and get the heck out of here. Dude, take the stairs. You need to be trying to make trick shots, or trick... Doing tricks here like you're riding a skateboard. We don't have skateboards, man. We're not that great. We're, we're not coordinated enough for that. You've seen how many times I've fallen in this game. If it weren't for fallproof, we'd be dead. Like, seriously, we'd be freaking... We'd be rest in peace, game over for us, and just... Hail Mary, sweet Mother Mary Joseph, thank you Jesus Buddha, and everybody else out there for keeping us alive. Anyway, sorry, just... I'm being a goof. I was being a goofball, I apologize if I'm bothering anybody with religious talk and whatnot. You know, if you have a faith, cool. If you don't have a faith, that's cool too. It's whatevs, man. It's whatevs. Man, woman, transgender, I don't care. Ginger, dr gender, dude, come on. Not everybody's a gingy like you. The gingenator. Yes, yes. Alright, so we need Mumbo's help. Welcome again, Baron Bird. Hey, Mumbo. Long time no see. Been about six months. You've got another glue, boo. I must give magic creature to Mumbo if I tell Want Mumbo's help? You know, I'm gonna have to start charging for this, but yeah. I'll cave in this time. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Whoosh. Into the nutsack bag. Whoop. Pull up your tidy waddies. Oh, man. Excuse me. Oh, whew. I don't know what it is, I just... I got the burps tonight, y'all. Oh yeah, by the way, still recording here? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you guys don't want to know how late it is, it's pretty late. I can't help it though, I just... I don't want to put this game down! Ugh! I'm having fun, man! Yes! Don't make me put this game down, man! Dude, what are you doing? Use the warp pad. You're not gonna walk there, are you? You're crazy, man, you're not... Yeah, we're gonna use, uh... We're gonna warp to floor two. <clears throat> Cause that'll make things a lot quicker. Man! Sorry, y'all. My throat is just... My throat and tongue are making all kinds of sounds tonight. It's just... It's obnoxious, even. It's gonna be a real pain in the booty. Let me say that again. A real pain in the booty. For me to edit later. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Jeez Louise, man. Calm your freaking tail feathers. Just calm your butt. Or better yet, calm your gaseous throat. Throat man. Throat man. No, actually, that doesn't work. If I had to be anything, I'd be Burt Man! If I were like a Mega Man character, I'd be Burt Man. The power of gas. And noise. Hope this works. Alright, so. Imp. Electromagnetic. I don't actually know off the top of my head what Imp means, but if I had to take a guess, it has something to do with malfunctioning. Magnetic malfunction. Auto fixing program initiated. Magnet will be reactivated in 90 seconds. Oh no! Whatever will we do? We didn't even know there was a magnet in there. We just saw that there, man. We saw it! We see saw it there, man. Well, as it so happens, what you want to do is you want to return back to Mumbo's skull. And you want to go ahead and get Banjo-Kazooie. Then, what we're going to do is we are going to visit Wumba Wigwam. Because we are in need of the transformation that lies in this stage. And I've been holding out on y'all. You've know some of you probably already know. You're like, dude, we already know. You ain't, you're not hiding any secrets from us. Oh, oh, I already know. I've played this game. Well, yeah. So, so no, I, I can keep secrets even if everybody already knows. It's a secret to me that you all you all already know. So, yeah, I'm allowed to keep spoilers secret from you. Go look it. Oh no, sorry. That was yeah. Um, that was uncalled for. That really was. <clears throat> Yeah, they really do give you plenty enough time to do this, but I do not advise trying to walk there because I don't think you have enough time to do that. Do this little tidbit challenge in that amount of time. Oh, excuse me. So, definitely, if you got the warps, use them. Because I think that's like the way they designed this, the uh, timer and challenge thing. They designed it so you have to use the warps. You have Globo? Want to give to Humba? Yes, ma'am. And welcome, by the way, welcome back. Sure, I'll just throw it on it. Whoosh! Magic ready. Jump in Wumba Pool. Cannonball or Mernon Ball! Or Kazan Ball. What did I say? I said Kazan Ball. Whoa, Nelly! We're a. Wumba, call this washer. Use control stick to move and press Z or Z to fire plenty of underwear. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you! 
This may be one, probably one of the arguably the most clunkiest transformations to use, but man, oh man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Well, actually, I'll take that back. The TNT detonator was a pain in the butt. But freaking firing underwear for an attack. Nobody can freaking beat that, man. I mean, well, maybe somebody can, but I. That's amazes me. Anyway, so the reason we came in here with the washing machine transformation is because we are heavy enough now to step on that switch. And what this will do is this will open the way to a door that we haven't actually visited. I purposely ignored it because... Spoilers! This is actually the last part of the game. It's the uh, part of the game where you would go if you were pretty much about finished but you wanted to fight something. Wait, is this thing gonna like... Yeah, there it is. It's pretty cool. Once you've done the magic and, you know, you've temporarily pressed the switch, they have no reason to, like, refix the magnet. So now it's just gonna sit there all, like, static and crap. Nice little detail, nice little detail. It's kinda like the eggshell being left behind after you tip... after Tip Tup Jr. hatched. Yes, I named him Tip Tup Jr. Man, that was a fart if I ever heard one. I hope that picked up. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, what was that? Oh, somebody popping a bubble on their lip. Oh, gosh. Oh! Dude! Dude! You're not supposed to gross me out, man. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'm trying to play here! Commentate, you're messing with me, fart! What? This... Oh, this episode is a train wreck, completely. Dude, what am I doing? I need to freaking stay on the floor, because we got to get back to Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? You want Oh, you want to attack me? I'll attack the washer. Don't disrespect the washer, man. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. Oh, my nose is still burning. Jeez, that was a nasty cheese fart. Man, cheese farts are the worst, y'all. Oh, gosh. They're not chatterlicious like you would hope they would be. You know, like, you would get a whiff of the cheese and you're like, Oh, it smells so good. I'm like, to me, it stinks. Oh, It's bad, man. Oh, it's, I wish it would go away. And here I got the fan blowing in the background. The fart fan has... Nintendo Capri Sun would probably call it. Like the ones for Metroid Prime. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I probably should have mentioned this. <laughs> you know, we're kind of like, what, four or five episodes in? Holy crap, that's a lot of honeycombs. I have had a fan blowing, it's just a little light. It's a it's an oscillating fan. I hope it's not too distracting. It's I just have it set on low. But I have it turned on because it gets pretty hot in here sometimes. Especially with me blowing fuses out my booty hole here. You know, all the farting around I do. <coughs> Ooh, and the belching. And the talking, and the the amount of times I rage. Well, I don't rage too much, really, but when I do rage, I, I start getting hot under the collar, you know? And I do notice your temperature does tend to rise when your emotions start to flare up. It's kind of cool how your body does that. It's weird. You know, we are. I mean, we are strange creatures, you know? If any. I mean, out of all the, like. Thing, out of all the species in this world, if you want to get technical, you know, saying people are, you know, animals, and technically that's true, we are we have animalistic behavior, but we also have a lot of con lot more control over it than other creatures do. But anyway, I'm not going to get all philosophical on y'all. We're going to go ahead and go up the floor three staircase here, and flip flap up here, and then we're going to flip flap up here. Man, this is dangerous, man. And then up here, we find Floor 4. That's, that is a pretty cool thing to say. Floor 4! Floor 4! Floor! It's like you're playing golf, man. Yeah, man. Oh, and immediately when you come in here, the screen is shaking, and it's like, what the crap is going on? I remember when I first played this, and this was the... And when I were, say this, I'm referencing the time where I got the train... Thought I got the train stuck here. Um... I came to this floor, I think, I was like on the, I was using the transformation of the washing machine, because you can use the elevators as a mechanical washing machine, and I freaking saw the screen shaking, and I heard this, like I hear it now, and I'm like, what in the hell is that? Like, seriously, I don't even want to know what's on this floor, man. Let's see, really? Okay. You're gonna mess with me? I'll, I'll mess with you. I'll get you. I'll get you before you get me. You got me? Good. Oh, my nose. Finally, the smell's gone. Oh, there's another one in here. Where are you at? Where are you at, you fart face? You booger head. Bunion brain. Uh-huh, right above my head. Die. Stoop. You stoop, I'll walk all over you. Because these paws are meant for walking all over you. I... What even? I don't even. Okay. 
We're gonna step on the switch here, and this will actually allow us to traverse into higher areas that we would otherwise not be able to access. In fact, we're gonna need to do that. We're gonna need to use these very shortly, I believe, because there is um, there are a couple of windows that we need to bust open. Mm, excuse my nose. So we're gonna need to do that. I think this is the area. But before we do that, you know, travel outside or travel to floor one. There's actually a warp pad right here. And let me see here. Do we have to go and like knock it down now, or do we have? To, or is it good the way it is? Let's find out. Uh, no, we don't want to go that way. I don't think. Oh, okay. We can go ahead and use Mumbo again. How much time has passed? Let's see. Probably about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. Uh, I really don't want to like over. I I'm so afraid of like overkilling on episode length, so I don't really know how much time it has passed. So, to be on the safe side, I will see you guys and gals next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll get more gold nuggets, we'll get, we'll do some more mumbo-jumbo magic stuff. Don't be a dumbo, go see mumbo. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Love ya. Peace. Take care.